Now this is one of the most spectacular coves in the country. It's one of Britain's greatest limestone sport climbing cliffs and it's up there with its most iconic natural wonders. It's home to some of the best and hardest sport climbs in the country, not to mention the classic trad routes out on the wings. Now this place is really steeped in history for climbers and it offers stunning panoramic views that visitors will travel from all around the country and even further afield to see. And if you've never been here before and you're thinking about making your first trip, here are a few of the main things you need to consider before coming. So first of all, parking. Now parking is a very sensitive issue with the local residents, the landowners and the businesses. So make sure you get this bit right. The best place to park is the Payne Display National Park Authority car park in the village. And at peak times, extra fields might even be opened as well because the cars overspill. Don't park on the Cove Road between Town Head Barn, where there is a parking sign that says no parking for three miles. The road is just too narrow and passing spaces need to be left clear to allow the traffic to get through. If all else fails, it's a really nice walk to go all the way in from Malham Town. From the parking, it's just under two kilometres walk to the crag. Approach it by sticking to the road and the footpath and don't take shortcuts through the fields below the cove as they are not open access lands and this will just cause strains with the local farmers. Malham is a popular crag for climbers and for tourists as well and as a result sanitation is an issue we need to keep on top of. Always use the public toilet block next to the pub or near the car park instead of the bushes. These are not public toilets. Malham is an important and very visible site for nesting birds with both peregrines and house martins nesting on the crag for most of the years. The climbing restrictions for peregrines is typically on the left or right wing with bolted sport routes generally unaffected other than those that breach the main overhang. House martins also frequently nest between May and September often on the hard and popular sport routes. In doubt, ask a friendly regular. There is no bolting at the weekends or during the school holidays during summer or whilst the nesting restriction is in place. And this is to ensure that noise doesn't disturb the nesting birds or detract from other visitors as well. Keep your shouting and bad language elsewhere. There is a lot of non-climbers come here to visit this stunning picturesque place and they really do not want to hear an annoyed climber yelling while they're taking those lovely family photographs that they're going to keep forever. What about wild camping and van camping? Well, in a nutshell, don't wild camp near the cove or sleep in vehicles in the village as this has annoyed locals before. Do the right thing here. If you want to stop overnight, then help keep relationships between climbers and the locals good and use either the Riverside campsite at Malham or nearby campsites at Gordale Scar or Langcliff or even splash out on a B&B &B if you don't want to camp. After a hard day's climbing, why don't you make use of some of the fantastic local businesses? Why don't you put some money back into the local economy? There are really great cafes, pubs, restaurants and shops in Malham and the surrounding area and they'll really appreciate your custom. Well, that's it from me. Those are the key points for climbing here at Malham Cove. If you have any further inquiries, please go and check out the BMC's regional access database and most importantly, have an amazing time visiting this absolutely stunning and truly remarkable place.